Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 18. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at working with our acceleration fuel enrichment. This is used to add fuel momentarily as we have large throttle inputs to our engine. Without further wait, let's jump in and let's check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our acceleration enrichment programming and tuning within our Holly Sniper EFI system. Now, acceleration enrichment is going to be the equivalent of a throttle pump on a carburetor. And since you're retrofitting your sniper system in place of a carburetor, this concept should be familiar. Now, the idea of a throttle pump, or in this case, programming or acceleration enrichment, is we need a momentary increase of our fuel delivery to our engine whenever we're having a large throttle input to our engine. So let's say we're in cruising conditions. 20% throttle as we're cruising down the road. All of a sudden we decide to let's drop a gear and go full throttle to do acceleration run. That change between something like 20% throttle to 90 to 100% throttle very, very quickly is gonna require us to have a huge shot of fuel added into the engine to avoid a lean condition and a hesitation as we're making that large throttle change. So on a carburetor, if you didn't have your throttle pump set up right, you would have a lot of drivability problems. And that's the exact same thing we're gonna find here with the acceleration enrichment. So where the throttle pump was a mechanical-based system, we'll find that here everything is controlled virtually. Now what we have is a couple channels to take a look at and a few tables to deal with in order to get this acceleration enrichment, the equivalent of a throttle pump, dialed in correctly. One big takeaway here is gonna be that we have to have our main fuel table dialed in 100% before we can even consider looking at our, uh, our acceleration enrichment programming. So we're gonna talk about that here just in a second. Let's first jump in, let's find where we can uh, go to our acceleration enrichment tables here in our calibration file. The file I'm working with here is a street, street strip cam.sniper, it doesn't matter which file you have open. I'm gonna move up here into the fuel ICF into the drop down, and then we're gonna move down here into the acceleration enrichment area. Now we have six total tables for adjustment, and we'll find that we really only need to adjust two to three of these tables if we need to make adjustments here in the acceleration enrichment. I definitely wanna go and stress the fact that Holly has done an excellent job at the acceleration enrichment settings here, so the base setting values in all of our tables. They will work for probably 80 to 90% of your applications. Very rarely am I tweaking or adjusting these. It really comes down to making sure that your main VE table, the fuel table, is 100% nailed down. So let's discuss that first here before we talk about actually what these tables represent. So jumping back into our base fuel table, we know this table is the estimation of airflow or air mass coming into our engine. So the percentage of cylinder filling here, these percentage of VE values in our table, represent that percentage of cylinder filling, which then affects how the Holly is calculating the estimated airflow or air mass coming into the engine. This table is has two different kind of key things to take away from it. One, this table represents the airflow estimation when the engine is warm. And then two, this table represents the airflow estimation in steady state conditions. That's a really, really important concept here because idle, part throttle cruise, or even wide open throttle, the airflow is in a steady state condition. That means that we're not having any large bursts of airflow change as we will when we're driving around giving throttle inputs. So the way that we characterize this table, the way that we dial this table in, is when we're in steady state conditions. We're either in idle, part throttle cruise, or wide open throttle. Anything outside of that, we need to account for other variables such as acceleration and enrichment, so we need to add fuel against the base pulse width here. So the big takeaway is that the table here will be the base pulse width for all of our other modifier correction tables that we're finding in here. So the acceleration enrichment, temp enrichment, and startup enrichment. Um, we're gonna find that, for example here, the temp enrichment. Coolant temp, we've talked about this already, the enrichment, this adds a percentage of fuel on top of and against whatever the base pulse width is calculated from our main fuel table. So we can't take a look at or adjust anything in within that coolant temp correction table until we've dialed everything here on a warm engine. That same kind of concept here also applies to acceleration enrichment. We need to dial this in 100% before we can look at doing anything with our acceleration enrichment enhancement and, and adding fuel on top of. So this acceleration enrichment adds against and on top of the volumetric efficiency 
base pulse with coming from our table here. So what does this mean? Well, when we're doing our tuning process, and we've talked about this with our closed loop, so we have both the closed loop compensation and the learn, and we know that we have to go in and enable our closed loop. We know that we have to allow our learn to enable. We want our learn to learn. We want to transfer that to the base, which is our main table here. We want to allow that to dial the table in, smooth the table out, go through that process three, four times of driving cycles until our base table here is nailed down, until we're finding that our learn table. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.